put me first. If it's that, if, if they run the exhibition where, you know, winter stays on, I'll, I'll just win the whole thing. Sometimes a player is so good and so confident that even when the odds are stacked against them, they can defy them. In 2014, at SoCal Regionals, an exhibition was being held. Northern California was facing off against Southern California in a 5v5 match. At the time, NorCal had some of the top players in the world, like PR Balrog and Ricky Ortiz. We come in as PR Balrog from NorCal is finishing off Kino from SoCal. It's been a clean sweep so far, and NorCal is up 4-0. It's now up to Snake Eyes, a Zangief main from SoCal, to make the impossible comeback. To make matters worse, NorCal was feeling incredibly confident. Snake Eyes would have to implement a perfect game plan to stand a chance. Zangief is a command grab character, which means he has special grabs that are incredibly powerful. His most common one is Spinning Pile Driver, or SPD, where he can reach an extended range and grab his opponent. He wants to find a way to get in close, normally using his light buttons and do his green hand special move to force his opponents to guess if he's going to grab or hit them. Snake Eyes is a master at this, but the road to victory wasn't going to be easy. He was going to have to beat all five players without losing one set. NorCal starts off by putting up LPN as their champion. He plays Kami, a pretty hard matchup for Zangief. LPN starts out by using his kicks to keep Zangief away, but gets too confident as Zangief sweeps him. He quickly regains his composure, and both players attempt to fight for space. As Snake Eyes places kicks across the screen, LPN attempts to punish him, but misses a crucial cannon spike. Oh boy. Oh no, what was that uppercut all about? This is the opening Snake Eyes needed as he lands his command grab. This allows him to start the pressure and continue to force LPN back. He lands command grab after command grab, eventually taking the game. Snake Eyes with a good first round. In round two, it starts out almost exactly the same, with a sweep from Snake Eyes and a whiffed cannon spike from LPN. Snake Eyes punishes and keeps the pressure on. LPN finally lands a cannon spike to stop the bleeding. With the life lead, Zangief doesn't have to worry about putting immense pressure on Kami. Even so, he slowly works his way in and tricks LPN with a classic Zangief tactic. He whiffs a crouching medium kick, which moves his body forward and lands a spinning pile driver. Snake finishes the round and takes game one. Snake Eyes hits the same trick with a crouching medium kick and lands a huge grab. LPN starts his pressure, but gets grabbed for his troubles. Comes LPN now. Oh wow, let's just wake up SPD. That's 250. Kami finally gets the opening with an EX cannon strike into a full combo, but again misses a cannon spike. This allows Geef to do a ton of damage with his command grab and catch up on life. Oh, an empty jump. That's not gonna kill. This but... might. Oh, oh, nice upper. LPN gets a throw into the corner and hits a great aerial to take the round. And a press. Yep. In round two, Snake decides to be aggressive, landing a huge grab and attempting to chase LPN down and super him. It's the fact that the camera cuts whenever- Oh goes. no! Oh, yeah. LPN smartly dashes away and hits Snake with a super of his own. Snake gets up and puts the pressure back onto LPN, hitting with a grab and then a jumping punch. Very fortunate for Snake Eyes that the angle was just right for him. Well, that was weird. Kami lands another EX cannon strike, but drops the combo, giving Snake Eyes the game. LPN comes out hot, hitting some incredibly hard confirms and pushing Snake into the corner. But Geef gets out with a clean kick into EX green hand. It's not easy, but... Knowing he has a game to work with, Snake makes a huge gamble and tries to grab Kami as she cannon spikes him. But LPN baits this, taking the game in the set. Quickly, Snake Eyes, you can see he's playing a little nervous now. LPN starts out incredibly strong yet again, stuffing Snake and putting him on the back foot. But this time, he's pushed his luck too far, and Zangief does his Ultra 2, grabbing Kami out of the air and doing a ton of damage. Snake starts to pressure, but LPN throws him to get some space. As he tries to keep some space, Snake is slowly walking him down into the corner. Getting scared, Kami jumps, but Snake is ready for it with a huge heavy kick and seals the deal with a jab. What a, what a beautiful bait to jump back and standing roundhouse. Both players are fighting for position, as LPN lands a great confirm, but again drops the combo. This gives Snake all the leverage he needs to start his game. He again baits LPN into thinking he's going to pressure with a button, but grabs him. Knowing he has to do something, he throws out a cannon spike, stuffing Snake Eyes in the air, but it doesn't stop him for long. Snake is relentless, landing another command grab and guaranteeing the round with a cross-up splash. He's defeated the first boss of many more. Following this, NorCal attempted to put the nail in the coffin with their superstar PR Balrog. PR Balrog is known for his footsies and amazing spacing, something that should be really strong against Snake Eyes. But Snake Eyes comes out swinging with huge heavy kicks and a neutral jump heavy punch that stuffs Balrog's attempts to put pressure on him. One of the main things Balrog has to do in this matchup is the spaces rush punches far enough away to not get grabbed. If he's too close, Zangief gets a free spinning pile driver on him. Snake continues to put PR Rog in a rough spot with an EX green hand combo into SPD. But that hasn't even been a necessary oh thing so far. This is just Snake Eyes not, playing footsies. Yeah. After two quick rounds, Snake takes game one. Game 2 starts out bloodthirsty, 
Both players are trading blows until Snake Eyes drops a green hand combo, allowing Balrog to get a free punish with his ultra combo. But Snake Eyes recovers quickly and immediately answers back with a huge jump in and sweep, setting up the command grab mix up after. Pierre Rog uses his EX armor to escape, but Snake ends the round with a jump in attack. At the start of round two, Zangief attempts to jump in and land a command grab, but it misses, allowing Pierre Balrog a huge combo, giving him the first solid lead all set. Snake has zero fear and wakes up with SPD. He's gonna wake up SPD! They reset back to neutral and trade blows yet again. Pierre Balrog walks up and walks back, attempting to bait Snake, and it works. This allows him to win the round with a well-placed super move. Pierre Rog has seemed to have found his footing. He continues to bait Snake and gets a huge throw. Oh, like Pierre Rog getting a little risky. Snake answers back with an incredibly brave dash into SPD. Respect every time Snake is Ooh, what dash the up. Heck? Jab SPD. Here comes Snake. Nope, he plays patiently. As they reduce each other down in life, it comes down to a single hit. They whiff buttons, attempting to make the other one flinch until finally Snake Eyes gets what he's looking for and lands a combo into green hand to win the game. Tense moment coming up. Oh, oh, there it, it is. is! Snake Eyes takes it! Here it is! PR Balrog! PR Rog is out of there and now Snake Eyes continues the gauntlet. Norkel had another ace up their sleeve though with Ricky Ortiz. They were one of the top players at the time and was heavily favored to beat Snake Eyes. At the time, people considered Rufus a very strong matchup against Zangief. He has long normals, he has a great rushdown game, and he has strong anti-airs that stuff most of Zangief's normal ways to get in. But Snake Eyes is about to show the world that they may be wrong. In game one, Snake Eyes shows such immense confidence. He's willing to take hit after hit to guarantee that he gets in. Oh. And speaking of great backdashes, Ricky looks lost and is eventually smothered. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Snake Eyes is taking control. Oh! Look at this guy. In round two, Ricky is able to slow the game down, but during that time, Snake is able to take huge strides and push him into the corner. In a desperate attempt to get out, Ricky uses EX Messiah Kick, an invincible move that lands on Zangief. He comes into his ultra afterwards. But as he dives down, Snake times a super to catch Ricky as soon as he lands. That well? Oh my god! He's, he's, he's the best. Snake Eyes is ridiculous. He, I'm sorry. He's the best. I'm sorry. Ricky's now looking shaky to start the next game. Rattled. Ricky is rattled. and But again, he's better when he's rattled. But lands a great anti-air that finally lets him start his offense. This is where Rufus truly wants you. Stuck in the corner as he uses his dive kicks to apply pressure. He's gonna do it even though that's not gonna do any damage. It's just enough to get that lead. He's able to do so much damage he lands a dizzy on Zangief. Oh the dizzy, yep. With a pixel amount of life, Ricky tries to chip him out with another EX Messiah kick. But Snake Eyes gets out of the setup and jumps over the next EX Messiah, landing Ultra for the round. My god, Snake Eyes! Snake Eyes! Look at that dude loud! Oh my god! What was almost a guaranteed one round has shifted the momentum to Snake's favor. Snake Eyes almost completely has Ricky's number at this point. He's punishing every attempt that Ricky has to get in and stop the momentum. Each interaction between the two pushing Ricky closer and closer to the corner. Snake uses his jab to stop Ricky from moving and does ultra, catching Ricky sitting down and winning the set. And Ricky just unplugs the controller, doesn't even let it, oh there it goes. Snake Eyes now has to beat El Cubano Loco, a Vega player. Vega is relatively strong against Zangief. He has huge long range normals and be extremely difficult to catch, but he doesn't do a lot of damage. If Cubano Loco can make sure Snake doesn't get in, you should have a smooth win. But of course, Snake isn't gonna ever let that happen. He fights through the pain and gets Vega into the corner, landing a huge SPD. But Cubano lands an amazing grab of his own, putting Snake into the corner and giving himself a ton of stage to work with. As Cubano gets pushed in the corner again, Snake Eyes attempts a raw EX screen hand, but to no avail. Cubano throws him to the other side of the screen and casually ends the round. Oh my gosh, he got the jump in, nice. but he was too far to connect the low jab, so El Cubano Loco takes the first round. Cubano is playing lights out, he makes read after read on Snake, getting him down to half health. But Snake Eyes is inevitable. As he continues to push in, he forces Cubano to backdash deeper into his side. A great jab into SPD gives Snake the exact position he wants. Then, now he has the corner. And the claw's gone too. Now he has the corner. Oh, oh. nice. Good read by El Cubano Loco. Zangief is able to punish the backflip with SPD. And smelling blood in the water, he catches Cubano's backflip yet again, winning the round. Watch out for that move, yeah, exactly. Oh, again. he knew it. Snake feels the momentum and pushes aggressively right from the beginning of the round. Energy going on in this crowd, that's for sure. Yep. 
Oh right God. where Snake Eyes wants to be. Still where Snake Eyes wants to be. Dizzy time, and that's gonna be it. How into Fierce SPD, we got a perfect. Cubano is trying his best to keep his distance, but Snake Eyes won't let up. Pressures Cubano over and over again until he baits him with a cancel green hand into focus attack. Gotta get his was claw. Oh, and he got the shenanigans. Catching Vega and putting him into a crumple, guaranteeing the round. It's now match point, and Snake is playing with no fear. For each win in neutral that Cubano is getting, Snake is getting a stronger one right after. But not to be outdone, Cubano slows the pace down and is finally able to keep Snake out long enough to win the round. Our EX out off the wall. Yep. There ah, is. there it is. Great trade from El Cubano Loco. Ties it up 1 1 in this game. The overwhelming presence of Snake Eyes is too strong, though, landing SPD after SPD. Ooh. Not for too long. As he risks himself to find any sort of advantage, a flying Zangief fist hits him. And he punches him in the Snake head! Snake Eyes is oh going God. down to the wire. Snake he's, Eyes! He's beaten LPM, Ricky, Rog, El Cubano Loco. The only man left is the one who I believe has the best chance to defeat him, Huda Man Honda. But now, the final boss was here. One last set to solidify his place in history. He has to defeat Huda Man, arguably the hardest matchup for Snake Eyes. Both players show their immense knowledge of the matchup and trade blows. Hootaman continues the pressure and gets the life lead. From here, Honda can put up his stop sign and become incredibly defensive. Snake makes his body small to sneak past Honda's defense and lend his ultra combo. ADM right under it. He got the ultra. He's going to get a setup afterward. What is it? Hootaman is on the ropes here in the corner. He was able to get out of a tough situation with a jumping heavy kick, catching Geef attempting to come in. Hootaman did not Huda stay man. on the ground. Hootaman. As they fight for her control in the second round, Snake Eyes is able to trade with his Lariat, giving him an opportunity to play. He baits out a reversal from Honda and catches him with a command grab right after. Oh, well. do it again, yep! Smart move. Hootaman is attempting anything to get out, but Snake Eyes walks up and grabs him again. This is an incredibly rough spot for Hootaman as his back is to the corner. But with an amazing dash cancel into a command grab of his own, Hootaman steals the life lead and is in a much more comfortable position. At this point, Hootaman becomes too comfortable though and misses a huge anti-air as Zangief jumps in on him. Oh, but he says, whatever, I'm just gonna come in an EX hand. And now, 1-1. Zangief trades with his Lariat once again, getting a huge opening and getting the much needed life lead. He again uses the crouching kick in the SPD trick to catch Huda Man, increasing the life lead even more. Amazing, here he comes again. Here he comes again, no. Oh. Huda Man attempts to find any advantage he can, knowing he can't wait forever. He pushes Snake to the corner. But a seemingly random EX green hand catches Huda Man and gives Snake the game. And Snake Eyes is now at exhibition point! SoCal chants erupt in the crowd as the next round starts. Well, they're chanting SoCal, but th what they should be chanting is <laughs> Snake, Snake Eyes. eyes. <laughs> Huda Man starts out extremely strong, though, keeping Snake out and punishing each attempt to put pressure onto him. With a huge life leave, Huda Man just has to stay calm. Snake Eyes attempts a scary mix-up with Dash Up Ultra, but is stuffed by Honda. Got him! Looked like he did. Yep. Did not quite get him there. And Chip now might be able to do it for Huda Man. Snake finally lands a huge command grab. Okay. He got it. Don't count him out here. Snake Eyes is a mix-up away from taking this. A mix-up away. No! It's he not gonna work. the combo! He dropped the combo! Giving Huda Man the break he needs to win the round. Round 2 starts similarly to round 1. Huda Man is able to stuff Zangief multiple times taking a huge chunk of his life and solidifying that all-important life lead. Snake knows his only chance is to land a huge super or ultra. He attempts to land super, but Huda Man reads it and gets out of the mix-up. Snake rushes back into the fray and lands his ultra. Oh, did he get yes! him? He got him! He did! Snake Eyes is gonna be another one mix-up away. Snake knows Huda Man is looking to block the jump-in attack and instead lands with another command grab, taking the round. Empty jump in the SPD! That was the classic safe jump setup and everybody was looking for it. I was too. And so was Huda Man. Huda Man has to win this round to keep NorCal in the exhibition. He tightens up his keep away game and keeps himself out of risky situations. He builds up enough meter for super, threatening any hit to be massive damage. He's finally able to catch Snake pushing a little too far and punishes him. Taking the round and the game. Come back from this one, but he's that crazier oh, now. He Huda went, Man went, takes the game. He went for the shenanigan right there. The jab, green hand, and the ultra. Not going to happen. One final game is all that stands between both players winning for their region. Both players have battled back and forth, figuring out each other's tricks. Knowing how much is on the line, each player starts out tentatively. Snake Eyes is the first one to put some pressure on, though. As he's able to push Honda into the corner, Snake tries command grab after command grab, each one whiffing. Snake goes for SPD again, 
This time catching him. Corner. Here comes Snake. He got the full 250 on that one. Dengue's relentless pressure keeps Hudoman in the corner. And eventually Snake makes the read he needs to win the round. That closed out the round. Oh, the reactions from Snake. Oh! oh! Snake Eyes is at exhibition point. Once again. Hudoman wants more though. He knows this is his final stand. When they pressure back on a snake, he lands his own command grab. He has enough meter for any hit to land in a super. This is keeping Snake out and timid. Oh, but see, he's scared. He keeps going for those those little fuzzy guard overheads. Oh, he, he lands a huge air to air and jab into hands. Most importantly, though, he saves the super meter for next round. Udaman then plays the time and guarantees the win with a huge kick. We got next round coming in, and he just builds meter because he knows he can't yeah, win. Yeah, yeah. So we are down to the very last round. It seemed like this was going to be a clean sweep for NorCal, but no! Snake Eyes has fought all the way back. He sees the finish line in front of him. Last round, last game, last set. The crowd is on its feet. Snake starts out strong with a low into EX green hand, then catching Hudeman trying to jump with another low into EX green hand. Hudeman is now stuck in the corner. Close to Dizzy and scared of a command grab. Dizzy! He's back in there again. Here comes Snake Eyes. No, not oh, out of beautiful, the air. Hudeman. But he gets out with an EX headbutt, gaining the space he needs to fight. Snake does his crouching kick into SPD trick yet again, putting Hudeman on life support and inching closer to that win. Bahanda still has some fight in him. He lands an incredibly difficult combo by doing jab into hands, link into another hands into super, bringing Snake all the way down in life. But Snake Eyes is too confident and does something that no one expects. Oh, nice. And now. Oh! Snake Eyes! Snake Eyes! He crosses the finish line! He beat the marathon! Wednesday night fights! Damn. Takes the whole thing! No matter the odds, Snake Eyes proved he was the best player that day. From the beginning, he was confident he was going to win, and did it in an unprecedented 1v5. This performance goes down as one of the best Street Fighter exhibitions of all time. If you want to see more Snake Eyes, check out this video right here, where he has the closest match of Street Fighter ever. Until next time.